All right, we are at the uh, Palm Beach uh, Boat Show. I've already shot some really good video, uh, YouTube Live. But uh, today's video at the Palm Beach Boat Show is the cost of owning a fishing boat versus fishing with professional guides. As regular readers of my blog know, I love fishing. I have tons of fishing videos and pictures and everything. I fish a lot. I fish in many places around the world and I catch a lot of fish. Some really big ones too. Uh, some days I get skunked, but that's a whole other blog post. So what are the boat pros and cons of boat ownership? And walking through the Palm Beach Boat Show reminded me of this blog post I, I put up a month or so ago. So I'm gonna do a video of it. So there's many, many pros and cons to owning a boat. From the freedom to go wherever you want, that's a pro, to the cost of maintenance and fuel, which is obviously a con. Instead of breaking down the pros and cons of boat ownership, um, because it, that's, that's an old trope that's all over the internet, there's a, a lot of people do that. Instead of breaking down the pros and cons, let's see and compare the costs of owning a boat versus fishing with professional guides. Completely different ball game, okay? So the cost of boat ownership. I've been to boat shows all the time. I've met with boat dealers. I've done the math more than once. I'm at a boat show today. With me. Now, certainly at the Palm Beach Boat Show, there are boats out here in the many, many millions of dollars, way more than my budget. But, you know, my budget is, is, is not, not a mega yacht. It's more of a, of a boat that would be, you know, for inshore fishing or flats fishing. So the estimated cost, at estimated annual cost of owning a nice fishing boat for me would run between $18,000 and $22,000 a year. So let's break that down, okay? How do I get to this number? First off, boat insurance and boat payments. A fully decked out 18-foot flats boat or even a, up to 21-foot flats boat is $60,000 plus. I can afford that. That's, I can actually pay that cash. A bay boat is north of 100 k all right? Same with an offshore boat. Financing 50000 over 10 years plus insurance runs about 1000 a month, give or take, with interest rates probably a little bit more than when I did the math a few months back. Dockage at a marina in Miami can be as high as 6500 a year. Where I live in Coral Gables, you cannot have a boat in your driveway, okay? Um, and I don't have the space in the side yards for a boat in the trailer and the garage is a non-starter according to uh, the wife and, and i agree with her on that it's a non-starter okay so that's kind of looking at the dockage then fuel regular maintenance and other fees are at least 2500 a year okay the annual budget for boat ownership uh including payments insurance dockage etc etc is about twenty-one thousand dollars plus or minus uh, 10 percent that math works out i've spoken with boat owners i've spoken with uh my fishing guide mo uh reviewed all this and, and he he concurs so what are the costs of fishing guides a lot of people complain that fishing guides are expensive so um fishing on average once per month full days i do six to eight hour days with professional local guides run me on average run me on average $10,200 a year, excluding tips, okay? Just the cost of the guys. Travel, my fishing expeditions, Alaska, Amazon, etc., run less than 10,000 on the fishing part of the trip alone. Air, hotel, etc., cetera, uh, is offset using uh, points, okay? Uh, I typically fish 25 to 30 days a year, both guided and unguided and I come in well under the cost of boat ownership and I fish as many or more days than the average boat owner does. Okay, so that, that, that's huge. I'm fishing more and saving money. Okay, that's an argument I've, I've made to my wife. Plus, I get to mix it up between flats fishing, which I love, offshore fishing, which I, I, I like a lot. I do it a couple times a year. Backcountry Everglades, and I get to fish in places like Alaska, Montana, OBX, North Carolina, the Outer Banks, and the Amazon, which I'm going to be going to later this year. Whereas most boat owners only fish their local waters unless they trailer it around, which we require. I buy a big ass truck, which is not in my budget and the math above, so you would have to throw even more money on that. 
So for my lifestyle, for my lifestyle and my fishing addiction, okay, professional guides make the most sense for me. It's less money, less thinking, less work, and more fish. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to walk around and enjoy more of this amazing boat show here and not worry about how am I gonna make the payments, where I'm gonna keep the boat, how I'm gonna maintain it, insure it, and all of that. Until later, tight lines.